One thing that we really need today in our society, in our families, is the act of forgiveness. Oftentimes, someone will say something hurtful to you. Someone will do something that will offend you. And naturally, we human beings, you know what you, we do? We hold grudges in our hearts. We hold a grudge. It's difficult to let go. We feel anger and resentment. Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib السلام, teaches us that the best act of kindness and mercy is to forgive other people. Let go. Empty your heart and let go. The first one who benefits is you. Many scientific studies have been made on forgiveness. You know, usually when someone hurts you and you feel angry inside, you think this anger is actually something that will empower you over the one who hurt you because you feel angry. But in fact, this anger is a double punishment for you. See, that person already hurt you. That's one. Secondly, when you experience that grudge, that rage and that anger, that's that person hurting you twice. For a long time, what someone said it very beautifully once, he said that this anger that you feel after being hurt by someone is like a coal of fire in your hand. Have you seen charcoal when it's lit up? You're angry, you want to throw it at that person. But in reality, you're holding the coal. What will happen? You burn yourself. Before you can hurt the other person and throw it at the other person, you're burning yourself. Anger really does burn us. Scientific studies have been made that people who hold grudges, they, den they tend to be depressed more. They have more rates of anxiety and they tend to be more angry. Or as people who allow themselves to forgive, to let go of the past, they have higher happiness, they have higher life satisfaction, and they feel there is less of a burden on their chest.